All right, so now we are. This is a brake accumulator. That's come. No, is it? It's yeah. brake. Yep. <laughs> it's a brake accumulator. Brake accumulator. Yeah, coming from uh, from Canada, Sherbrooke. It's a DS19, 1963. And David here is doing. He's gonna do a rebuild for us. Rebuild it. We're gonna yeah. Put it in the clamp and open it up. And recharging, and then change the diaphragm and things like that. This is always a spot where you wish you had a third hand. All right. Let's and see what happens. Lucky. And it looks like we're not lucky uh, on this. All one. right. We need some leverage. Get the leverage bar. So that's a Citroen tool. Uh, it's a T number what Citroen tool? Uh, T number, I have no idea. <laughs> uh -huh. What we didn't do though, uh -huh. because we're rushing, uh -huh. is we didn't open ah. the top. Because we were so excited to make a video. That's right. We weren't thinking, we didn't relieve the pressure, if any. Well, there's no pressure. No. Uh huh. Oof. Okay. Just in case we get any fluid coming out. Mm, that's Not a good idea. So that's going to be really ugly inside when we get there. Uh huh. Ooh yeah. There we go. She moved. She moved. All right. Okay, so. And you can hear Ooh, the diaphragm. The diaphragm is all tangled up in there. <laughs> At this point, it should spin off easily. Yeah, that's the first time I'm hearing that noise here. Yeah. You get that every once in a while. Ah. There we go. Now it's starting to move a little easier. So we're gonna have like a fair bit of cleanup to do on this one once we get it open all the way. Oh yeah. You can see oh. this just leaked out of the top. Ooh. So that's the remnants of the diaphragm. So this one's gonna be filthy. And that wow. is definitely past its useful life. <laughs> diaphragm soup. They're oh not all like God. this, but every once in a while you get them where they're they've gone very gummy. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna clean that out. All right. So. And we're gonna so, throw that out. Oh my God! Look at that. You. Yep. So uh, you won't have as dirty a hydraulic filter when we're all done. That's for sure. Excellent. We just did a quick wipe and you can see down there that's the port where the hydraulic fluid comes in. It's completely plugged with old diaphragm. So we got a lot more cleaning to do and we're going to have to clean the ports here right. and make sure there's no leftover diaphragm in there. And then the top should be pretty easy but we need to make sure that the fill hole for the the gas, the gas is clear. Oh, okay. So we'll do that and we'll clean up the threads. They're, they're not bad on this sphere actually. But a little bit of a little bit of rust that will clean out of there. So okay. We'll be back in a minute. All right. So now everything is clean. This is the plug that where the gas is going in. We have a brand new a brand new diaphragm here, and it's clean. It might look a little oops. Might look a little stained, but that's okay. It's 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 clean. It's in good shape. There you go, so we are ready to put it together now. Okay, so you always start with a new O-ring and a filler. And put the plug on. We won't tighten it all the way down yet because this is where the gas is going to go in. And then, nice new diaphragm. The right kind for 
brake fluid car. I like to use just a touch of Vaseline on either side of the diaphragm so when you're screwing the halves together you don't get a lot of resistance and the diaphragm Excellent. won't pinch. So do and just also a you have bit. a good clamping. Exactly, it tightens down nicely. A little bit on the bottom, a very thin amount along the top as well. Sometimes there's a little bit of rubber hanging off from the, the molds which causes it to not want to sit in there just so. I think we're good now. You can see on this one there's a little bit of rubber there ah. that's sticking up. I'm just going to carefully trim that. Is there a seems, razor blade? Yeah, with a razor blade, exactly. That's better. Ah, after a little trim. Okay. So now we've got our diaphragm in place. Just a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Excellent. Okay, should be more than enough. Simply screw it back together. We get it to the point where it's hand tight, back into the clamp. So you have to put it a little bit away from the. Right, you leave it a little bit proud of the clamp so right. we can tighten it. Okay. The gentleman I bought these from designed them pretty nicely because they work, they hold the top of the sphere in just the right spot to be able to tighten them up nicely without it bottoming out. So, hand tight. Excellent. Here's the third hand. Third hand of Phil comes in to help <laughs> us out here. Now it's ready for gas. Okay, so this is our contraption to <laughs> charge the sphere. We're going to just set it in place. Now the brake accumulators for my particular setup are a little challenging just to get them held in there just so. I think we got this one. So we're going to open up the bottle. There's an o-ring at the end here. It's an o-ring in the right top there. to seal against the top of the sphere. Pressure okay. comes in. We've got a valve here to fill it and a valve to exhaust the pressure when we're done. We're that's go the to exhaust here. Yeah. And that's the stuff to close the top. Close the top, exactly. So it's best to fill slowly so we try to get just a bit of gas going in. It takes a little bit of time to fill but since this is a brake accumulator, we're going to go to 580 pounds. All right, we're at about 630, which is a little bit too high, but it'll be fine for this. Okay. Come over here and close the fill valve. And here we lose a little bit, which is why I like to go slightly over. Be there. So we'll open, we'll close here, we'll open the exhaust. Uh -huh. We hear no hissing, which is a good sign. You can see that the top is now closed all the way. Yeah, I go. Just to be sure, it's always a little bit of about an eighth of a turn more that you get with channel lock. So there we have a freshly rebuilt LHS brake accumulator. That's the ticket. There we go.